EA Sports. It's in the game. Everybody, Trey Wingo here back with you and we've gone through the Madden Playbook series but now we've got a special addition to the Madden NFL Playbook series. It is Madden Social and we're joined now by Jason Shankman to talk about that. And Jason, we've gone through the console game but take us through the idea of social media and how Madden can be played on say Facebook and Twitter and all those kind of things. Uh, well, Madden Social is a free-to-play football game that's shared across iOS and Facebook. So basically what that means is you can play it on your iPad or on your iPhone. Excellent. Um, what features does it offer that you can play on your iPad or your iPhone? Uh, well, the main feature we have this year is a turn-based football game. What it basically means is you play your drive, and when you're done with that, you pass the game on to your friend for him to play his drive. And what's great about that is you really don't have any long wait time. You don't have to commit to an hour-long game, let's say. It played in two to five minute increments, and you play it whenever you want to play it. Um, but what's great about it, too, is you don't actually have to control the defense. It's an offensive shootout entirely. Uh, means that every time you play the game, you have a really good opportunity to score. And in other words, it's sort of like the NFL these days. It's an offensive shootout. Defense sometimes is optional. Uh, it, it seems like we're trying to get Madden to wherever the consumer is. Is that sort of the, the idea behind Madden Social? Yeah, absolutely. I think the, the main point here to get across is that you can take this game with you anywhere you go. So if you play it on Facebook, you can start your game there. But then later in the day, you have your phone with you and you want to continue your game, you just fire it up and continue your game. So it works on cross-platforms then? Absolutely. How, how critical was that to make sure the game was really something that people could embrace, that they could really take it with them wherever they go? Well, I think it's really important. I think we want to make sure that people are enjoying our game anytime, anywhere. Yeah. Okay, in a lot of the playbook series that we've been talking about, it's all about user variety and really giving them a, a million different ways to try and access and use the information. How does that work on Madden Social? So I think the most important thing to us is to allow users to play this game any way they want. We give them a ton of options on how to play the game. Um, in the feature where we let you pass the game back and forth, it's important to us to let the user decide how often they want to play the game and be able to play it in short increments. We also give you the ability to choose how you want to acquire players. If you want to go into the store and purchase them with your earnings, you can do that. Or if you want to go to the auction block um, and purchase them through the auction block, you can do that as well. You can also take your players and put them up on the auction block to earn additional coins so that you can make more money to then acquire even better players. So I think that is paramount for us, making sure that you play it the way you want to play it. Especially if it's a social situation. Especially in a social situation. That's the name Madden Social. There you go. The most social guy we've met today. Jason, thanks very much. We appreciate it. And that'll wrap up this special edition of Madden NFL 13 Playbook. And as always, for more information, you can check out the website. <laughs>